Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to be taking a look at running Apache Guacamole in Docker. So after getting logged into the server that's going to be running Docker, we need to install a few prerequisites that are required to get Docker up and running. Next we're going to add the Docker GPG key and app repository. Finally install Docker, Docker Compose, and Container D. Once the installation completes, we're going to make sure the Docker service is running and add the current user to the Docker group. Now that Docker is up and running, we're going to create a working directory for MariaDB, set the ownership of the working directory, and pull down the guacamole container. Next we'll start the MariaDB container and output the guacamole MySQL initialization script. Now we'll connect to the MariaDB shell, connect to the MySQL database running inside the container, and create the guacamole database, the guacamole user, and flush privileges. Lastly, we're going to import the guacamole database structure. We'll exit out of the MariaDB shell, run the guacd container, and finally run the guacamole frontend container. With the guacamole frontend container running, open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the Docker host colon 8080 slash guacamole. Log in with the username and password guacadmin. Now we're going to go to Settings, Users, and click the New User button. Create a username and set a password. Scroll down and give this user all admin access to Guacamole, and click the Save button. Next we're going to log out of Guacamole, and log back in as the newly created admin user. Go back to Settings, and then Users. Select the Guac Admin user, scroll to the bottom, and click Delete. At this point you can create SSH, RDP, and VNC connections as needed.